Hey, what is going on guys? It's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 video. So I'm basically just releasing a slightly better package sender or package linker tool than the original bat scripts I made for the remote package installer. So I made this program just to be more convenient for me to use. Um, so hopefully you guys will find it more convenient if you're still using my old bat script method. Um, I know there's a lot of other package linker tools out there that are, you know, they all have their advantages and disadvantages. Mine is no different, but I made it to be the most convenient, like I said, for my needs. So hopefully um, some of you guys will find it uh, pretty useful as well. So the download link will be in the description. So let me just go over how to use it. So you need the remote package installer. Now I've, I'm not gonna go into detail on how to set up the remote package installer in this video or how to improve the remote package installer transfer speeds. Um, I've already done tutorials on both of those. So I'll link them in the cards in the top right hand corner and uh, also in the description. So if you wanna check out that video and figure out how to use the remote package installer, I highly recommend checking out those videos. So yeah, as a quick rundown though, of course the remote package installer allows you to transfer package files from either content delivery networks or from your computer to your PS4 directly over your your network connection instead of having to copy a package file from your computer to your USB drive and then installing it via the debug settings. This method is a lot more convenient and it's a lot faster. So you need the remote package installer on your computer and then for the tool to install the package files, um, you download it from the link in the description, just run the package sender.exe and then that will open the program. Pretty basic program right here, I didn't make it fancy or anything. So what you have is your PS4 IP address that you want to type in here. When you close the program and reopen it, it will save the IP address so you don't have to type it in every single time. Um, the server IP address gives you a list of different IP addresses from all the network adapters on your computer. So you just select the one um, that you want to host on, uh, that you want the server to be hosted on. So it'll probably be either your wireless or your ethernet adapter, depending on what you're using. Then you just drag and drop a package file into the program, click it and then click send package file and then it starts sending the package file. As you can see, it gets sent. And of course, Minecraft is very small. It's only a few hundred megabytes, so it'll install pretty quickly here. There you go, package file sent. Then once you're done, you can remove it or clear the list, add more package files, whichever you want. So that's how you install a package file. Now, the reason I made this package sender compared to the, the previous one, the bat scripts I used to use. So this is the old one where you had your PS4 IP address you would put into this text box. You put your server IP in this text box with the port number and then you would just drag and drop the package file over install package.bat. It would run the HTTP server and start installing the package file as you can see. That worked fine but the issue was it couldn't handle multi-part package files properly and it also had issues with, um, you know, just if you wanted to install multiple package files at once, you had to do them one by one. So once one finished transferring here, you'd have to close it and then drag the next one over and start installing your next package file and you'd have to keep doing that, which isn't very convenient if you're like me and you're trying to install Fallout 4 to install some PC mods and you have to install Fallout 4 plus the 1.20 update plus all the DLC every time you maybe accidentally corrupt an update for Fallout 4 and have to reinstall the whole thing again plus all the DLC and update. So yeah, that's mainly why I made this tool. So you can install multiple package files at once. If I take Fallout 4 plus the update for Fallout 4 and then here's all the DLC for Fallout 4 as well and different package files, I can drag those in and even install multi-part package files. This is an update for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare that comes in multiple chunks. So you've got part zero and part one. Um, so you can drag that in as well. Most retail package files will be split into multiple parts if they're larger than four gigabytes. So it can install those as well. And then once you have all your package files, you can just click install all or send all and it will go through and start sending all of those package files one by one. As you can see, Fallout 4 added to downloads. And in addition to that, you also get the fast speeds. If you set the remote package installer up to get the faster transfer speeds, you can see I'm downloading really fast here. We're almost on two gigabytes already. It says it's only gonna take about six minutes. So that's an estimate. It's probably gonna be less, probably about four minutes to install a 30 gigabyte game. 
And again, if you want the faster transfer speeds with the remote package installer, I'll go through it real quick here, but you know, you're better off checking the full video. But basically what you have to do is connect an ethernet cable from your computer to your PS4. And then on your PS4, you set up your internet using a LAN cable instead of Wi-Fi. And then you share your internet connection from your computer to your PS4 using uh, connection sharing. So you, you share the wireless adapter to the ethernet adapter, and then you're basically sharing the internet connection that the computer's getting down the ethernet cable to the PS4. So then when you transfer a file, a package file, it's going directly from the computer to the PS4 down a ethernet cable. So you get a much faster transfer speed. And with the remote package installer, you just have to set it up so you're using the ethernet adapter's IP address as the server host and uh, you know just enter the PS4's IP address and then voila you get the faster transfer speeds but you know the program should work on slower speeds as well um, of course but you know if, the, if you have a really really bad connection uh, like a super slow connection um, then you might run you probably will run into issues trying to use this tool it's mainly designed for the faster speeds but it will work on you know just average speeds as well so yeah if we head back over here just wait for uh, Fallout 4 to install. Okay, and there you go. So Fallout 4 is installed, and then it should jump to the update now. There we go, done, and 1.20 update starts installing. So a couple of reasons why I made this tool, first of all, because I know there's gonna be people in the comments saying there's plenty of other package linker tools out there, and that is true. They all have their own advantages and disadvantages. Mine is no different in that respect. So. Basically, one of the reasons I made it obviously was just to be able to send all the package files at once. My previous bat scripts that I made in a rush just didn't have that functionality. You had to drag and drop the package file over the script and then once it installed, you had to close the server, drag the next package file over and repeat the process with how many package files you're installing. Whereas with this one, you just drag all your package files into the program, click send all and then it will just go through installing them one by one until they're all installed. Now another problem with some of the other package linkers, um, most of the ones I've used actually, uh, require you to enter a package directory. So that's where you basically have to enter a directory in the program and that's the directory where you have to put all your package files. So you have to have all the package files in one directory and then you can send them all from that directory. But you know, if you have package files in different locations on your computer or different hard drives, then you have to basically uh, copy all your package files from all the different locations into that one package directory and point the program to it in order to be able to install all your package files. Or you have to keep changing the package directory in the program to point to wherever the next package file is. So I find that inconvenient. Personally, I prefer being able to just drag and drop the package files into the program from anywhere on the computer. It doesn't matter if they're on different hard drives or in different folders, you know, as long as you drag them into the program and they're accessible on the computer, then you should be able to send them to your PS4 that way. And another reason, of course, was to be able to get the faster speeds because this package sender uses the same Node.js HTTP server that my previous bat scripts used. So that gets you the ability to host the web server on all of your network adapters. So you can select any of your network adapters to host the server, including the ethernet adapter. So if you're using the connection sharing method to share the computer's internet connection with the console down an ethernet cable, you can get the really, really fast transfer speeds that way. Plus I've also noticed some of the other package linkers use slower web servers um, or don't allow you to host on the ethernet adapter for whatever reason. So um, that's another reason I made this package sender as well. Plus the ability to send multi-part package files in amongst regular package files just to make that a bit easier. I also recorded me coding this entire program. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, if you want me to upload the video of, you know, coding this entire program from scratch, it's quite a long video. It did take a while. There were a few things to, to get through. If you guys want me to upload that, let me know in the comments because I know there is a bunch of people on the channel who are interested in you know, that kind of content and want me to make more of that kind of coding tutorial type content. Whereas I know there's also pe a lot of people on the channel who are not interested in that kind of stuff at all. So it's hard to really gauge what the ratio is on how many people are would like to see that, how many people are not interested in that. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to upload that video. Because um, again, it's, it's quite a long video, so I'm not entirely sure about that. So there we go. Now it's sending the um, Advanced Warfare update that's in two different parts. It has to install them in one 
uh, in one go. So as you can see here, although it looks like it's only doing one part, it is doing both parts because, because it says 6.68 gigabytes, which is um, the full update because yeah, if it was only doing one part, it would only be like four gigabytes or two gigabytes, but it is doing the full 6.6 .6 gigs and it's gonna take less than a minute to install it. Also, you can of course cancel the transfer at any point by right clicking and selecting cancel transfer and that will just cancel it. You know, this will just, the bar will just get stuck, but you can just delete it. Um, if you cancel it and then, you know, send more package files or remove the package file, send a different package file. When it says it's only doing one part, it is actually doing all the parts um, from the UI. But as you can see, once it's done that part, it'll just skip the next one because it has installed the whole thing. So if we look, we can see that we've got uh, notifications. There it is, Advanced Warfare. I don't actually have Advanced Warfare installed um, on this PS4, so it's just stuck waiting to install because it has nothing to install the update to, but it has downloaded the update just fine. So just to show that Fallout 4 is installed properly as well, if we go to information, you can see we've got version 1.20 installed and all the DLCs installed. And if I run it, you should be able to see that it works, hopefully. It does take a, it does get stuck on the loading screen quite a bit when you first install all of that DLC and the update, but it should, after a few seconds, actually start the game, which means that you know none of those package files were corrupted or didn't send correctly. And there we go, it's starting up now, so everything sent successfully. So yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Um, now this, like I said, this does require the Node.js server, HTTP server, so you need to have Node.js installed. When you download the program, you can click test server, um, make sure you enter the server IP uh, that you want to host the server on. Click test server, it'll tell you if the HTTP server is running. If it's not, it'll try and install the module. So if you don't even have the Node.js server installed, then it will you know, take you to the download page so you can download it and install it. It's just a regular setup installer. I covered it in my first video on the remote package installer. So yeah, I mean, that's basically it. It's just a, a, another convenient way to install your package files for your PS4 games, DLC and updates. So. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. Uh, again, if there's any issues with the program, which there probably will be because I'm only testing it myself and, uh, you know, I can't catch everything. But if there are issues, I'll release an updated version so you can keep checking the description for uh, newer versions. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.